you probably have already seen this on the web, everywhere, on the street, or even on the in store or something like that. That it is small. Yes, it is. It is quite small, especially when you compare to the previous wireless. This is before before this. This is Rose only wireless solution, and this is that that is quite big. I mean, but this has been very reliable. I've been using it for so long and we have high hope on this one does it really work for this size that's the thing once again thank you Adorama for sponsoring this video check out all the product links in the description box below somehow it remind me of my iPod shuffle it's, it, it feels like it of course it's not the same size but also when you wear it it's kind of like you clip it to your jeans and you can forget it but interestingly when I first saw this on the web it, I, it kind of like oh new mic from Row and it's oh yeah it's quite small yeah small yeah that's it it's still a wireless mic so it don't excite me until I have to pack it like I pack my camera this is my old mic take up so much space and then something else and then I don't have space for another camera that I need to reveal. I have to use a bigger bag if I want to put the camera I'm going to reveal as well. But onto the wireless go, it's like <laughs> it don't take up much space around the size of my power bank. So I have space for another camera. That's it. So it's not the size when the mic is on the camera, it is in my bag compared to this. This is it. This is a roll out. This is a receiver. This is a transmitter. The receiver got a color LCD or whatever or LED screen on it. Doesn't matter. Or well, or L whatever display. It's color display on it. And just like the old roll link, you can see the battery from both thing, the receiver and the transmitter. You can see the battery life on this screen. And from here, you can set the output level here. You can set, uh, there's a sun, there's a logo, like a sun there, which is um, it's a power saving mode. It will dim the display after a while. And it is, it is actually really dim that now, even like in the cloudy day here, I can't, I can't see anything. So I think in an outdoor, I probably turn on the sun there. It's not quite dark in the video, but to my eye, this is really clear, at least in this cloudy day. Both of them with the internal battery charged with USB-C and they claim that it works for seven hours, the longest, when you have probably when you have battery saving mode and a good reception, something like that. But you can also plug in a power bank if you really run out of battery or if you forgot to charge it. One thing really interesting is that uh, when I first see this on the web, I I was thinking, how do you mount this on the horseshoe? Turns out this is exactly the width of a horseshoe. You can put this right on the horseshoe. I have never seen something like that. This is pretty clever. And this is how they keep it so small as well. On the side of the receiver, you plug in this cable that comes with it and then plug this to your camera or because it's detachable, you can change it to whatever cable that fits your need for smartphone, for other X XLR connector. Now one thing I only realized when I get this in my hand is that it don't have a lovely mic comes with it. Even though you can plug in a lovely mic, you can plug in other audio source as well in here. But maybe Rolf think this is for beginners, this is entry level, though, so they don't have a lovely mic. They they think you will use this built-in mic. This is actually a built-in mic here. Pretty, pretty interesting. It could be useful as well. But how does it sound? So when you're using the built-in mic, you, you put it up like that. You, of, of course, you put it that way, not like, not like showing the whole thing, the whole huge thing like this. You put it like that. So it's a it's a omnidirectional microphone, so it doesn't matter which way you 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 pointing it to, it as long as it's close to your mouth. So it sounds like this. I think it's just acceptable. It's it's well obviously better than your camera built-in mic, but it's acceptable. I can try to adjust it in equalizer in post production, but yeah, it's just acceptable. Especially 
if you compare it to a lavalier mic. So now this is come from the lavalier mic, which is right here. So now I can clip this anywhere. I, I don't even have to clip this. I just put it in my pocket. That's it. <laughs> because it's so small. And then, well, this lavalier mic is a Rode lavalier mic. It comes with my old Rolling and it sounds like this. It sounds so much better. So for audio quality, is there any difference between this and this? If I'm using the same lavalier mic, honestly, I don't think there will be much different between these two. Let's see. So now you are hearing from the old Rolling, then it sounds like this. I don't think there will be much difference, to be honest. But, uh, but this, with the built-in mic, actually, I mentioned the built-in mic is not as good as the lovely mic, but it's still a really good backup. For example, like if I'm going to shoot, if I go out to shoot, I forgot the lovely mic, or when I arrive at the scene and the lovely mic just broke for, for, for some reason in the back. So I still have the built-in mic, I can get by with a built-in mic, with this built-in mic. And also for some situation like for wedding video, that you can really hide this to a lot of places. You can just hide it somewhere, on the just or just place it on the table, something like that. Or you can just stick it to somewhere, and you have a mic there. You don't have to wire it. You don't have to plug in a mic. You don't have to hide all the wire. It's just just one thing. Shotgun that it probably a lot of time that's not possible. They claim the effective range is 70 meters line of sight. Well, I'm not sure how far is this, but I'm sure it's far enough for me to disappear inside. For, for some reason, when, we, when I was testing this for the Canada's channel, the old... So this thing sounds really good, right? But the most, most important question in the world, the one million dollars question is how much is it? So it only costs 199, it's actually really cheap. <laughs> really cheap for something like this. Well, you can find a lot of other cheaper wireless buy that you don't... Uh, from, from those really smaller brands, some even brands that you never heard of, but they won't be as small as this, and I'm, I'm really doubt about the quality. Of course, Sennheiser have their G3 system. I can't remember if it's G3, G something. So, we did the professional choice, but that is really expensive. Five hundred dollars, five hundred US dollars plus. And years ago, that was the only good option. Uh, Sennheiser and also Sony as well. And then here we come the row length. This cost uh three hundred ninety nine. Yes, three hundred ninety nine. But now we have this one hundred ninety nine. But remember, for this you have to buy your own level in mind or. And unless you are going to just use the built-in mic, there's a Sony lovely mic cost around hundred dollars, a hundred something dollars, and up uh, around three hundred something dollars, which is still cheaper than this, cheaper than the Sennheiser XSWD mic. So they sound really good. What we don't know yet is how they perform in different environments, especially like interference in a uh, crowded interference area because this roll length has been really good. I have been uh, using it for like years and then I only encounter like one or twice in like those camera show on the show floor with thousands of other mobile phones, a Bluetooth, Wi-Fi router around the whole show floor that only I encounter two times. I have to really change the channel to get rid of interference. Uh, what else is the internal battery? I have asked my row contact in row that <laughs> they expect this to last five years under heavy use. But still, after like whatever six or seven, five years, the battery will die. And 90% of people with a dead built in battery, not people with built dead built in battery, I mean this with dead built in battery. Most people would just chuck them and it's quite wasteful. Oh, by the way, they comes with two years warranty. And then also they said that if you send this back, they will change the battery. Uh, not sure about the price yet, but I really hope whatever people, if you get this, uh, when the battery die, please try to send this back to have the battery replaced because this is what responsible person should do. But anyway, this is really exciting small wireless mic and it works well as well and then it's not expensive so 
check them out. I have a link in the description of this my and I have other links that about all the gear I used to make this video. And all, all, all of those links are Adorama links because they are the sponsor of this video as to 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 so if you're curious about what kind of gear I use, what camera I use, what light I use, tripod, my check them out in the description box below that help Adorama and help Bad Adorama to help me to help you to see more this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.